Greetings from Bermuda, this is BD Alami. Welcome back to Desktop Dungeons Rewind, where we are going to try out the priest character for the first time. We're going to go to Vince's Vault. So, priest. Uh, good health. An extra three health is gained per level. A uh, good drink. Health potions are 100% effective. Good golly. Physical damage against undead is plus 100%. Play. Hopefully there's lots of undead down here. Uh, don't forget to explore sub-dungeons. They show up as extra staircases and usually offer bonuses. Ooh. Okay, uh, let's go and... Um, let's go and bash this guy, I guess. Pick that up. Grab that. What's this? What a fit. Summons existing enemy, adding slow debuff. Bonus XP. Okay. Uh, biceps boosts your next melee attack with a 30% damage bonus. Strike erodes 3% of resistances. Okay. Summon a monster, extra damage. Let's try that. Can at least one shot him, okay. Uh, go around to this guy. Do that. One shot you. Uh, it's, yeah, it's almost not worth it, is it? They only do one damage to us each time. Uh, this guy is going to be more of a problem, so we'll come back to him in a minute. Uh, extra max mana, get some gold, get some heals. And this is extra max health, so we should pick that up now. I don't want to explore too much of the dungeon while I'm on max health, but. that you uh, we level up we can take on the level two enemies use that again I need a fireball extra attack damage okay I'll do oh hello I got a fireball great uh, you're level 3. We're going to come back to you later. My ball 8 damage. Uh, yeah, so we'll do that. And we'll do that again. Uh, let's get a little extra attack power, then we'll kill you in one hit. Level 4s we cannot handle yet. Uh, let's go grab the health potion. Uh, we found the goat. Hey, adventurer, hey, over here. Yeah, it's me, the dungeon boss. Come on, just try and hit me with a fireball. I dare you. Goats. Uh, okay, money. Kill you in one hit. Ooh, extra dungeon. Back there in a minute. Use the fireball. Hit you with a fireball. And we leveled up. Okay. This is going to reveal a lot of new terrain, so I guess I want to go down there when I'm lowish on health. I think. Pick you up. Kept you in one hit. The level one enemy over there. One enemy over here. We don't need another one of these, so we'll convert that. Pick you up. Get some gold. Get some more max health. Pick you up. Uh, summons existing enemy. We'll convert that. Fireball. 
Fireball is doing 12 damage. So how is it? I'm trying to figure this out. So we have 19 attack. Yeah, even though we're killing him and he doesn't have... Uh, strike first. We're still taking damage. Is that because he has a magical attack? Must be something to do with that. That is so tough. Um... Twelve damage or plus thirty percent. It's not saying our damage is nineteen either way, that can't be right. Fifty two forty two thirty two thirty three without that. But with that twenty four. Close attention to the preview. Uh, let's just hit you. Get rid of you. Let's go grab the health potion. Go grab the money. Wander down here. Extra attack is good. Get the mana potion. Pick up the coins. Can always just short of killing him in one hit. Uh, but I guess if we do that, then we will. Okay, where are we at? Level three. Do that. Do that again. Burn him. And we level up, okay. Level four, so we should be able to take on this guy now. And then burn you. Uh, reveal that. Heals us a little bit. You have first strike, so we would rather do fireball on him. Any healing potions, but I feel like I want to save those for the boss. Oh yeah, okay. Explore everywhere. Find the lower level dudes. Convert you. Actually, can we actually, I wonder if we can actually level these up by picking up multiples of them. I assume... I assume not. Uh, okay, so all we've got is these guys and whatever's downstairs. So let's go over here. My ball is doing 16. Got first strike, we'd need to hit you three times with it. this. Okay. Feels weird that. Okay. That guy's there, but we can't get to. 
Okay, so we're still level four. We've killed all the enemies, but we have this. Uh, oh, wait. This does not do what I thought it did. Summon existing enemy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, go. Summon existing enemy. There we go. And that was enough for us to level up. Okay. Now we should be fine to take on Mr. Goat. Um, pump our damage. And we pump our damage again. Then we heal. And then we kill. And then we get that goat horn. Good. Again, 10 minutes. Continue. Right, new building available. Hail most industrious kingdom administrator. A local blacksmith unsatisfied with the extremely poor sales of farming equipment has a business proposal to bolster the heroes in your kingdom. When you're interested, pay a visit to the supply store. Uh, okay, all right, so we went there and we sold our goat horn. And there are many different, uh, there are not just goats in these parts. There are a lot of different bosses, okay. Blacksmith, what's going on here? Um, upgrading this building will allow you to buy equipment. Let's do it. I uh, need some weapons or armor looking at price before quality. L like to sue for breakages, slashing and things are something for you. This building has several preparation slots filled with stock. Adventurers may buy these items before dungeon runs. Okay, we now have access to dungeon preparations. In this building's new pre pre preparation area, you will see several slots with a variety of performance boosting dungeon effects, such as free items, run modifiers, or more abstract benefits. You want to see how these preparations affect Dungeoneering? Just start up the next adventure. Okay. Uh, can we unlock the thieves as well? We cannot. So, I guess we go to... Didn't we do the Bardlands before? Well, we're going back to the Bardlands. Go. Uh, and let's go with... Um, let's go with the fighter and the human. We now have preparations. Time to start using your new dungeon preparations. You may select one preparation per row here for your adventurer's next expedition. Pick one per row. Okay. You'll be charged a small amount of Kingdom Gold for each preparation. Your list of active preps is shown here. Okay. Uh, so sword plus two damage, 25 gold, uh, shield reduce all damage by two, uh, or slay a wand, destroys, uh, destroys one regular enemy and provides base experience for the kill. Okay. Um, let's take a sword. We are a fighter. That's, yeah, the only thing we can take. Go. Okay. So, mana up. Fireball. Money. Level one enemies to kill. Uh, we'll hit you with a fireball. We'll hit you with that. Uh, we'll just hit you twice with that, giving you don't do too much damage back to us. Uh, dungeon hint, Writer's Guild Memo 6. If a monster is a higher level than you, it will give bonus experience. Fight them carefully using helpful equipment and you will rock it up in levels. Okay. Attack boost. up. Mana potion. Kill you in one hit. Uh, okay, can we kill a level three then? How would we kill a level three? This does eight damage. Yeah, I 
think I'm, I'm not going to take on higher levels. Unless I really need to. Uh, let's go back to the level one over here. Uh, convert that. Destroy wall. Destroy dungeon wall and gain a temporary 20% physical resistance boost. This effect will stack. Okay, we'll take that. I wonder if we're better going down here earlier or later. Not sure. I'm just going to hit you and then got eight hit points left. Perfect. Oh god. I'm shy. Uh, he's going to attack us back anyway. Yes, we hit you with that. And then we finish you off with that. You're all a bit too beefy for me. Let's explore this way. Uh, okay, so yeah, destroy items. Uh, we know about that. Next mana. Uh, get in there. First strike, 5% dodge. Seems worthwhile. Convert that because we've already got one. So if we did this, yes, we can kill him without him killing us. Okay, I've been around since desktop dungeons alpha and I'm still going to kick your ass. Just let me, one, let me land one hit. Uh, all right. Increase our attack, get money. One shot the level one guy. Let's. Uh, what if we do first strike as well? Does that make any difference? Yep. Because we've both got first strike. Uh, actually, yes, it did. We didn't take any damage. Okay, good. Don't need to heal, so. Let's go back around to this guy. Um, my ball is doing 12 now. Have to hit him with two. I think I just hit you once. And then we do a first strike. You again. Max health. We... First strike. Actually, no, that was pointless. We should have hit him with this first. And then done a first strike. Okay, never mind. Our health is kind of low-ish. I'm going to go down here now. Gold, 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 gold. Time to destroy a dungeon wall. More gold, more gold, more gold. Lots more gold. Ooh, we're rich. Maybe we should come back, though. I assume we can, yeah. Come back uh, when we need a heal. Can we take this guy down? 12 damage. Uh, yeah, we can. So we'll hit you with that. We'll hit you with that again. Then we'll hit you with this. And that kills you. Oh, you are level four. We leveled up. Okay, so yeah, we were level three. 
so we got more XP off that. I'm just gonna hit you twice. Yeah, hit yeah. Uh, hit yeah. One guy still over there. Mm, don't need to heal for much. Let's pick that up. Go fight you. And we'll go back down. Gold. Gold, gold, gold. Gold, gold. Uh, actually... Yeah, I don't know whether I need to be this careful with my health. Yet. Yeah, probably not. Do that. I can do first strike. Yeah. Kill see you and we level up. I'm a level 5. Okay. Uh, attack boost. I guess we just keep exploring everywhere. Because why not? Let me find more gold. Uh, we can one shot you. That's nice. Convert that. And then go pick up the remaining gold. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. We're gonna be rich. Uh, and then go face the goat. Jesus, wait, what? <laughs> How much damage is this goat doing? 75? I didn't think I needed to save that. Uh, exploring down there, but maybe I actually did. Okay, well, we're going to do as much fireball damage to you as we can. We're gonna use our mana potion. And do more fireball damage. Mana potion. Mana potion. More fireball damage. And we killed you with a fireball, even though we're a warrior. Okay. Was fine. Eight minute dungeon, we're getting faster. Okay, congratulations, you've defeated the three terrible goat lords of the surrounding dungeons, and your kingdom breathes a collective sigh of relief. Unfortunately, you're running up against a new kind of problem as you take the spoils of your hero's dungeon exploits back to the kingdom treasure vault. You notice that it's become a teensy bit full. <laughs> Blow it on a statue. It's time for the official vault to expand beyond the confines of that old couch in your spare bedroom. For now, you'll need to focus on finding a better source of cash security. And hiding it in a random pots across town simply won't do. Rumors abound in the local tavern that mysterious creatures known as bankers have been sighted in these realms. If you catch one, maybe you can harness its power in some way. Now that you're going further afield, quests and dungeons are becoming accessible from the map screen. Click on the tavern to prepare for your next adventure. Field reports say that a well-dressed creature has been sighted in the Den of Danger, allegedly trying to assess its value on the real estate market. It's said to be somewhat magic resistant and very prone to financial jargon and arcane mantras like time is money. Challenge and defeat the banker roaming here, we may be able to unlock some of its fine financomancy secrets. The Adventure Cave is well known as a gathering point for deadly adventure slayable beasties. It also tends to be a meeting point for dubious dealers and good smugglers. Trackers are almost certain that you'll find a banker wandering around here. Challenge and defeat it. Okay, the map screen gives you an overview of your kingdom's surroundings and all the dungeoneering opportunities they represent. Click on one of the quest flags. Uh, confirm your quest selection here just as you would with a dungeon. Okay, so dangerous investments. Uh, okay, sure. Get 
guess that's what we're doing. Uh, great, you're now in dungeon preparation mode. Uh, if you change your mind about the quest you've accepted or any other aspect of your hero's creation process, you can jump to the appropriate phase with a simple click. Uh, clicking there takes you back to the map screen in dungeon quest selection. Takes you to your class and kin selection. Or you can just cancel here and resume your important looking at kingdom duties. The realm is your plaything. That's it for now. Do as you see fit within the realms of bureaucratic compatibility, of course. Okay, well, we've still got a lot of money to spend, so I am going to go and survey my domain. Uh, and uh, upgrade the thief den. This is Cake's Tea or Death. Tea shops, the kingdom's dingiest, nastiest hovels, populated by brutes and low lives of all kinds. To the establishment's credit, the chai is quite brilliant. Okay, upgrade. Unlock the thief. And close that. And then back to the tavern. What was this one? Venture cave. Um, uh, let's go to the den of danger. Why not? Uh, so, human. Thief. And let's... I um, know. Oh let's take the Slayer one this time. Play. Okay. So it's, I'm guessing this is a one-use thing. Uh, fancy pamphlet. A pamphlet advertising the services of someone with very expensive taste in paper. Perhaps you should read it. Okay. Uh, pick up that. Biceps. Uh, BC Dex melee attack with a 30% damage bonus. Take that. Uh, so yeah, the thief uh, deals an extra 30% damage to enemies with full health. 33% more items on the dungeon map, and all health and mana potions restore both health and mana. Okay. Uh, so, looking for some level 1 enemies. Uh, summon a monster. Sure. Level 7. My god. We haven't seen a level 7 enemy before. Um, maybe, are we... Oh, we can read it. Do you have a living body? Fragile, isn't it? If we told you that there was a way to avoid the mess of brutal evisceration, a savvy adventurer like yourself would want to know more, yes? It's called rewind insurance. When your inevitable violent demise occurs, insurance will, will rewind time, allowing you to make healthier choices. You won't have to do a thing. The whole process is automatic. Legally, we cannot say painless. Uh, so this is one way that the um, desktop dungeons rewind differs from desktop dungeons uh, in that, yes, when you die, uh, I guess it will rewind you to a previous point and you can retry uh, again rather than having to uh, restart the whole dungeon from the beginning again. But let's try not to die. That will be better. Okay, pick up the health potion. Uh, piss off. Push an enemy back by one tile. Deal 60% base attack damage if a target hits a wall or 50% if another enemy. Okay. Could be handy. Uh, level 1 dude. Take you out. Take you out. Um... Okay. What have we got? Still not really strong enough to take on level 2 enemies yet. Definitely not strong enough to take on a level 10 enemy. Oh my god. Uh, maybe we should figure out a way to do the level 2s. We're not taking him down. Um, I guess there's the knockback, but... Okay, level 1 over here. Defiable. We'll nip around these guys. Take you out. Nip over there. Take you out. And level up, okay. Nip over here. Take you out. 
Getting there, it grants you first strike in your next combat round and 5% dodge chance. Now that is still useful to us. So we... Oh, we cannot pick it up. Why can we not pick it up? Because we don't have enough room in our backpack. Mmm, okay. Um... <laughs> do we need the fancy pamphlet? I guess we have to have it. I could get rid of this. I think I'm going to get rid of that. Let's recycle that. That gives us uh, an attack boost anyway. And then we can pick this up. Which I think is going to be more useful. Uh, so, level 2 enemies are now doable. Just have a crack at you. Uh, if we do that... And we do that. And presumably... Oh no, we're not quite killing him. Oh, that's annoying. Uh, mm. Okay, well... Do that and I'll heal by revealing. Extra max health. We just push you. Does that? Is that, I don't know. If there's going to be a wall there or not. There was not. But at least let us get to him. I could push you into the level four, dude. Uh, increase our attack power. Take you out. What are we, level two? I could push you. Again, are we going to be able to do enough damage with this? I can't do both of these anyway. Ah. Uh, let's... 50% base attack damage. 30% damage bonus. Probably that's got to be better, doesn't it? Oh god, we're still one shot. Okay, give me three mana. And now he's recovered some health. Oh, massive pain. In fact... Did he recover all his health? He recovered all his health, I think. Uh, okay, what if we hit you? Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Okay, drink a mana potion. I'm going to regret that. First attack. Wait, we're still... Oh, you've got first strike as well. Ah, uh... Shoot. Uh, then... Can I find somebody else to use it against? Not you. Wasted on you. Base is 10. Okay, so I'm going to hit you and then I'm going to push you and that should kill you. Yeah, okay. Achievement unlock monster masher. I guess for pushing dudes. Okay. And kill you. We can comfortably take on level 3 enemies if we can get to any. Do you level 1 here. And level 1 there. God, don't click on the wrong tile. Boost our attack. Uh, take out you. Pick up 
pick up the mana potion. Money, money. Where are all the level three enemies? Feeling like we're having to start <laughs> being a bit cleverer about this now. Probably want to save our Rod of Death for... Can we go and kill the level 10 enemy with a Rod of Death and then just get, like... What's the XP we get off that? Uh, provides base experience capped at player level. Non-level XP bonuses apply. Okay, so basically we can kill him, but we'll only get experience as if we were... Killing a level 3, dude. So that's probably not worth doing. Cheers, me, Dougie. Check you later. I'll boost our attack with that, though. There's got to be a wall there, doesn't there? Push you. Yes, there was. No, uh, yes, I think there was, and he destroyed it. Is this going to be enough? It's not going to be enough. Okay, I'm going to do that again, then. Wait, that didn't do anything? Oh. I guess that doesn't count as pushing him into a wall when you do it on the edge of the map. Um, mm. well, I can hit you with that, and then we can do first strike. No, we can't. Yes, we can. First strike, and that kills you. Ah, and there's the stairs down. Go. Level. Wait. Oh, yeah, okay, that is us. Uh, level 5, dude. Uh, that's not happening just yet. I think I'm going to go back up and heal by going here. We really need to get to level 4. Um... I guess we could kill this guy or this guy. Or we could just, maybe we could just push this guy. And that might give us access here. Although chances are this is probably a straight passageway, but yeah. I mean, we can kill him. We're just low on health. Ah, uh, let's do it. Can we kill you in two if we do this? No. What if we go first? Okay, level four, great. Extra health. You can easily kill. So looking for the level 4 enemies, so another one over here. Uh, it's more than half damage, so yeah, we hit you with that. And then we go first, and you're still hitting us again, because somehow we didn't kill you, what? Okay, go over here, level 3. Uh, fireball, yes! Oh no, we've got no room. Mm, I think this is the least useful, so I'm going to get rid of that. Pick up the fireball. 
been able to attack them without getting attacked back just seems super good. Oh, do we keep going this way? Do we try and kill a level 5? Keep going this way. Attack boost is nice. Gold is nice. Oh, hello. So you want to stimulate your kingdom's economy a little more, eh? Very well. Prove yourself in both of our traditional economists' combat trials. And you'll be worthy of our assistance. Otherwise, you shall die by my hand, which is a very convenient demonstration of our life insurance policy. Your exit has been blocked. We fight to the death. Uh, okay. Well, I'm coming back to you later. This is way too tough for me right now. Let's see whether we can take down one of these level 5 enemies. Uh, with a combination of that. And going first and hitting you with that. That's actually pretty easy. Again, if we go first, we can kill you. Ooh, that first strike is really pretty powerful. So we can probably do the same with you. Wait, what was down here? Oh yeah, you. 14. Oh, we don't have the mana, but we could go there. And now we do. There's 20 damage. So we do that. efficient here. Grab the money. Let me see. It covers three random dungeon tiles with normal regen benefits, but we can't pick that up. We've got too much other stuff. We should maybe be using this, and then that would free us to get other things but this is only on a regular enemy so we're not going to be able to kill the banker with it so let's just go over here here you be that five there isn't any okay so how do we take out the level six I think maybe we do a bit more exploring actually surely we should we should be able to hit him for that oh, he's got first strike so we need nine mana which we do have now. Better strike in your next combat round. Does that hang over if we do this now? And then do that. Do we still have first strike? We do. Oh, but he's got first strike as well. Of course he does. He's a goblin. Uh, fine. Do it. Uh, we leveled up. Okay, so we got full heal anyway. Okay, level six. The level seven's within reach. 
He might be. But we should probably go and clear him. What if we just use this now? I'm just going to use this now. Get rid of you. <laughs> uh, then... Hit you. Go first. Kill you. Give a mana potion. Ah, uh, yeah. Go grab this. Pick that up. More mana. Uh, there's a level 6 down here. So, go for first strike and strengthen. Kill without taking damage. I'm not sure I can take this guy. A level three? What are you doing hiding down here? Get rid of you. He has first strike. So... This is 24 damage. It's a lot. Too many fireballs. don't have first strike but you also have more health you're actually pretty strong uh, God, yikes Well, boost our damage, and then if, uh, yeah, you're, oh no, you're undead, we are a thief, we do not do extra damage, uh, but if we go first, we'll hit him without taking any damage back, and we level up, level 7, okay, should make you more doable. So again, can we do that and that? Yes, so you've got waste. He's got first strike anyway. <sighs> We're getting that. Okay. Level two, goodbye. Okay, cannot get in there. How easy are these level 8s to take out? Mm, not especially. But what if we do... Do you have first strike? You do have first strike. <sighs> 28 damage. Oh, I see what was going wrong before. This is 28 damage, which you would think was enough to kill him if I do this and then a regular attack, but I'm doing more damage when enemies have full health. Which means I'm better doing... Uh, I'm better hitting him first like that, then fireballing him. That does kill. Same thing here. Hit you and then fireball you. Okay, so quite comfortably take out those guys. Hit you, fireball you. We level up to eight. Okay, there can't be much left. 
back up. Level four. Level nine's down there. Uh, 32 damage. Uh, it's not quite enough, but I can do, if I do biceps and then hit you, then do that. I'm dead. Extra attack damage. Uh, now we sh should just be good. Without needing to do biceps. So hit you, fireball you. How are we going to beat him? <laughs> We're only level eight. Jeez. Mm. He did say he was going to show us the ways of, uh, of resurrection. Ah. So we're spending two, how much, I'm going to say, how much mana are we getting back? So that will net increase our mana by one, as well as healing us. So that's worth doing. Ah, he's on full health, so we want to do as much damage to him as we can, which means we want to do biceps. We've got, I mean, we've got a bunch of healing potions, but, so we should be fine, actually. Do that. Oh, but I guess if we wait too long, so he's on 229 now, if we do this. It's back up to 259, yeah. So we really don't want to leave any, any time. In fact, yeah, if even just casting this is going to let him heal more again. Maybe we don't want to do that. Hit you with that. A magical attack, nice try. Oh, magic resist 32%. Wizards who think they know better are trying to roast me all the time. Are you really too weak to roll up your sleeves and duke it out? Looks like you'd be using your insurance quickly. Oh, God. Ah, uh, fine. Uh, so we... Well, no, we can hit. We're fine. And we'll use our potion. We can hit again and we're fine. We'll use our potion. We'll hit again and we're fine. And you're dead. We can duke it out. Banker. Not a problem. Passage. Oh, uh, wait, are you not the end? Hello? Where are we? That's... Strange. Okay. Uh, Lyra, a pacifist. What? What is your deal? talk. Praise be, hero. I'm in misery Lyra of the good elven people. I must thank you for defeating that vampire upstairs. He was trying to set me up with a dodgy loan, and those things always harsh up my vibes. Pre-faded play armor is way cooler than forking out for a shiny new suit. Anyway, your aura reads out pretty well. Are you from that brand new kingdom we've all been hearing about? I know a quick way out of this dungeon. If you take me back with you, I'd like to speak to your leader. We may be able to harmonize on a few things. All right, let's go. Win. 
Okay, 27 minutes. That took a lot longer. Uh, yeah. Getting trickier, for sure. Puzzle time. Retired adventurers are full of useful knowledge that can make dungeoneering easier and possibly safer. They want a place to keep all the things they've discovered and are suggesting a guild of exploration. Puzzles unlocked. Start a pack. Puzzles unlocked. Tutorials. Puzzles unlocked. Akbar's Academy. Well, m most well-rested administrator, a particularly motivated bunch of adventurers have constructed a new building on the edge of your kingdom. It quite kept me awake with all that hammering. Shall we see what in their enthusiasm has wrought? Uh, this is the Guild of Exploration, built to give adventurers small, fixed dungeon scenarios with distinct solutions. Guild members often just call these things puzzles. Puzzles are organised in packs like these. Selecting one will show you its contents. If you manage to complete every puzzle in the pack, you'll usually get a reward. New puzzles arrive at the guild from time to time. Most of them have important lessons to teach, so be sure to come back and solve them if you find yourself getting stuck in hard dungeons. Okay. Quest completed. Find the elves. The elves are a welcome sight in times like these. Their magical prowess and arcane knowledge is as reputable as their unnaturally good-looking hair, making them valuable allies in the adventuring effort. Of course, their services don't come cheap. If you want to start training them up for adventure, you'll need to improve their living quarters. And this is an elven slum full of stinky layabout elves. These guys really need a new set of clothes, or maybe a building upgrade. Or a mere 200. Fine. Kin unlocked, elf. Which I assume means that now from when we go uh, adventuring, we can pick elves as well as humans. Class challenges. Class challenges are carefully designed scenarios, each sculpted to bring you into intimate contact with the wrinkles and uh, idiosyncrasies of each class. They also offer useful items and loot for their completion. Bronze challenges are playgrounds, calibrated to let each class shine in their optimal environment. Silver challenges ask a little more, requiring you to use the strengths of a class to overcome a more hostile dungeon. Gold challenges offer supreme bragging rights by forcing you to overcome the limitations of each class. Good luck on your way to true mastery. Okay, so um, yeah, set of different challenges we unlock as we go. I'm going to neither lock money or equipment by the looks of things. Uh, and then the puzzle challenges, uh, which are going to be basically similar. Tutorials. The tutorials for the puzzle packs. They read like the tutorials that we did earlier. Uh, who knows? But the starter pack is definitely something new. Cool. Well, we'll check that out next time. Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This is very cool. Um, obviously going to escalate in difficulty uh, as we go along. Um, but still, like less than half an hour for that last one, so I think it's still pretty quick dungeons, um, which is kind of the whole point of the game. Uh, anyway, that is going to be for me for now. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and until next time, this is BDLime signing out. Bye for now.